Saturday night, a bit of a Heisman re a reunion. There's going to be five of you guys on the field. Uh, do you all stay in touch or maybe only with uh, Mark Ingram? Yeah, I, I just talked to Mark. I talked to Mark the other day and I was just catching up. What do you remember most about uh, playing them last year? We lost. Is there anything that you should take away from that loss? We lost. They beat us. Fair and square. Derek, how much have you grown in terms of the technical aspects of the position, even this year? Do you feel like you continue to improve in terms of reading things, pre-snap recognition, all that stuff as we go? As far as what? Pre-snap recognition, you know, reads, you know, post-snap, just the technical aspects. Are you talking about run game or what are you talking about? Yeah, you running the ball. Are you asking if I improved? Yeah, even this year, from last year to this year, in terms of you know pre-snap, what you're seeing, and then your reads after you get the ball. No doubt. Yeah, I feel like I have. I mean, doing my job. I mean. what, what is it that they do well defensively, and are they different from some other teams you have faced this year? Uh, they blitz a lot. Um, lose guys in different positions. And they've been doing a good job this year. That's why they only have two losses. What contribution had the wide receivers made and helping spring you for some of the big plays that you had? I've been doing a great job. I've been doing a great job blocking all year. And, um, you know, it's the type of series we have, physical, one of the fittest blocks. And I definitely appreciate it. How important this week is it to sustain drives, have success in the run game, not only to help this team produce points, but to kind of keep their offense off the field? I think it's self-explanatory, like you said. It. I mean, we got to put drives together, score points, try to keep them off the field so they don't score points because you know they score fast. They got playmakers. They blitz a bunch. How much uh, have you improved the blitz pickup, and how much are you guys going to key protecting Tannehill the way they play? I mean, we just got to put, got to do what's in the plan. We just got to execute it, and um, you know, and um, do what we need to do to protect Tannehill and uh, pick up the blitzes. A little bit more complex or creative the way they come at people. Is there, is there more to diagnose? Yeah, I mean they do a lot of different things. You know, we just got to trust in what we, you know, have installed and go out there and execute. Muddy conditions for the second straight game uh, this week. Uh, how much as a running back do you embrace those type of games? I don't care what kind of weather it is. I got to go out there and do my job. It don't matter to me. There being a vocal leader, how important is that to you? And do you feel like you talk more to the team? Being a vocal leader, talking more to the team. Are you asking? What was saying? Are you saying? What are you saying? Yeah, I'm asking about you being a vocal leader. Do you feel like you that's something that's grown for you in the last year? Um, when I feel like I want to say something to the team, I just say it. You know, and um, I try to lead by how I work. So. Said or been shown on video saying, "Why not us?" Or uh, is, is that the opportunity before this team right now to, you know, your big underdogs, you know, last seed into the AFC playoffs? But at this point, it's whoever wins on Saturday night. So why not the Titans? Yeah, I think I explained that after the game Saturday. Um, but yeah, I just say that why not us, and you know, and just keep the underdog mind mentality, and you know, just keep pushing.